Hi, this is Carly McAvoy. We're going to do this question about the um, probability of x. The formula is in the second line. So I'm going to say, let's say that I have um, an n of 15. And then I'm going to use the factorial button. And if you don't know where that is, you can click on the f of x button down here and then look at um, this right here on the right has your factorial button down here. And then I went ahead and started it with a fraction because this starts off with a fraction. Underneath, I'm going to do parentheses n minus x. I said 15 was my n. Let's say that my x is 7. And I'm going to use that factorial button again. I'm going to hit that f of x factorial. I said x was 7, so I'm going to do 7 factorial again. Then I'm going to get out of this by using the arrow to the right button. I want to just get out of that fraction altogether. Let's say that my probability is 0.6. I'm making these up as I go. Yours will be different. I'm going to say 0 0.6. And notice that is to a power of x. So to get to a power, I can come down here and hit this. And then the x we said earlier was going to be 7. So that's for the power of 7. I'm going to get out of that by again using that arrow to the right key. And then I'm going to hit times because I'm multiplying now by Q. Remember that P and Q add up to 1. So if P is 0 0.6, then Q is 0.4. And then I'm going to take that to the power of N minus Q. So I'm going to get to that power using the exponent button. And then once I get up there, I know that my N was 15 and my x was 7. And then I'm going to have equal, I I'll go over here, sorry. And I had that old answer up there, so that was showing that. So this is what I'm going to get for my answer. And it's quite a long number, and I'm going to have to look at the directions to decide where to round. If I was going to round that to four places, I would have 0.1181. And I would round because that five would make that zero round up to a one. All right, thanks and have a great day.